That being said, our next speaker is Luke from Clusive, and his topic is training for success, how Clusive is bridging the gap to the modern workforce. And uh, I want to welcome Luke here. It's his first demo day for us. And, uh, and Luke, it's all yours. Thank you so much. And welcome to anybody who came in along the way. We have over 300 people on this session. Wonderful. Well, thank you, everybody, for attending. Thank you, David and ATIA team for hosting this and having us. Uh, my name is Luke Siminer, and I am going to be uh, putting on a little slideshow presentation here. Um, so I am the CEO and founder of a wonderful company named Clusive, right? Uh, and one of the big problems that we know all vocational rehab agencies have experienced uh, when it comes to getting their blind and low vision clients the training that they deserve is, well, there's a few problems, but one of the biggest ones is transportation, right? especially during things like COVID that kind of came to a grinding halt. Um, and even so, if you live in a state that has a lot of rural areas, which is most states, even California has a few of those, right? Uh, the transportation can get incredibly complicated for some of your clients. Um, when we go even a step further, we talk about the training that is provided, right? And as AT providers, um, you do an amazing job of getting them the skills they need to operate with their assistive technology. But how do we take that a step further and teach people at scale how to leverage their assistive technology to use the software that they need to for the modern workforce? And what I mean by that is this right here. In the early 2000s, the lowest ranking employee at most organizations really only needed to know email, right? Nowadays, it's an expectation that when you come into any organization at any level, especially in the tech world, you need to know multiple digital meeting platforms, multiple cloud storage platforms, potentially multiple email platforms, uh, and not just how to use them, but how to truly leverage them, be competitive with them, uh, and be a fully integrated employee. Uh, one of the biggest things that we have seen is a, a recent Gallup report that 86% of interviews conducted virtually, whereas most states claim that they didn't have anyone to do remote interview preparation, which includes you know, how to set up your background, how to make sure that your camera's oriented correctly, uh, uh, numerous other things aside from just the conduct on that interview. And that is exactly what Clusive does at scale. So let's talk about the student experience really quickly. And I'm sorry if I'm talking incredibly fast, but got a lot of info I kind of want to get through and, and get to some questions as well. So that being said, what is the student experience, right? When a counselor or you as a trainer or anybody that is using Clusive uh, enrolls a client, they can do that a couple of ways. They can do that through an email. They can do it through our platform, uh, which is completely accessible as well. Or... Uh, they can simply call us. Um, our, our account managers, once you're a client of Clusive uh, as an organization, our account managers will be assigned to you and they'll happy happy to enroll any which way possible, potentially even by smoke signal. But that being said, unlike most training providers, you don't have to wait 20 days, 30 days, a week, a month, a year. No, it's within five minutes of you enrolling that client that they have access to our platform and they can start learning from the comfort of their own home at their own pace. You can also run this as a cohort or you can use it in a lab. Um, but that being said, the flexibility and the discretion is completely up to you. Uh, we currently sell into about 20 different states and out of those 20 states, 19 of them use it in a self-paced way. Um, and we haven't had a single student not graduate and not love the course, but I'll get into our outcomes and NPS reviews later. We talk about the counselor experience, right? Um, which this is tailored towards our normal client, which is a vocational rehab country. Um, but uh, that being said, replace the, the, the word counselors with whatever you see fit for your title um, or whoever in your organization would be using this. Um, the counselors have access or whoever's using this have access to a personal dashboard. So you can view all of the clients you've enrolled at one place. Uh, you can also view all of their progress. You can reset their passwords. Um, you can even deactivate them if they're not responding to an email and you're a little frustrated or if they're just no longer taking the course for whatever reason, uh, you can pause their account um, and kind of force their interaction. Uh, at the same time, you don't have to use this account at all, right? We don't want to be another software that you have to learn that makes your life harder. Our goal is to make you, uh, your life as the trainer, the counselor, whatever role you play uh, easier, right? And provide the best training possible. So that being said, you can, like I said, call your account manager, send an email or fill out the form online to enroll that client. Uh, from there, you don't have to touch this, this dashboard at all. Uh, you will get bi-weekly updates from your account manager on all of your client's progress. 
Um, if anything comes up, like for example, we've have had some situations come up where an example in one of the, our state clients, they had a, an individual that some life events happened and they could no longer afford Wi-Fi. Um, and they didn't tell their counselor that. And so the counselor couldn't get them the resources, but they did tell our student success team. And so from that, our student success team updated the counselor, the counselor got resources, and it ended up being a happy ending uh, for that client that otherwise it could have been a, a not so happy ending. Um, what do we train to, right? That's the, the next big question. Um, so our biggest and most popular course is what we call the professional skills for the modern workforce. Uh, and that trains to everything that was shown in the previous slide, right, with the scales. So all the digital meeting platforms that are really prevalent in the workplace, from Zoom to Google Meets to Microsoft Teams, uh, both Gmail and Outlook, both the Google suite of software, such as uh, Slides, uh, Sheets, and Docs, and the Microsoft suite of software. It's hard to get the names not mixed up here. Um, Excel, <laughs> uh, Teams, Chats, and uh, of course, the PowerPoint and so forth, um, and Word. From there, we also go into uh, the remote interview preparation. We go into accommodations and disclosures, verbal and nonverbal communication, and so forth. Um, that really is best looked at as kind of basic training for entering the modern workforce, right? Then we have our fundamentals of computer science. Uh, this was actually requested from a Prietz leader in one of the states that we sell to. Uh, she had a lot of Prietz individuals who were very interested in software engineering. They really thought they wanted to do that. And so what we did is we had one of our blind software engineers create a course in conjunction with a few other people um, that walked through the basics, zero to one of fundamentals of computer science. And in this course, they'll learn about HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, the main languages that make everything on the internet kind of possible uh, and visible. And then we go from there and we teach them how to make their first locally hosted website with us. Uh, the goal of this course is by the end of it, they either have a lot of validation that they really want to pursue computer science in college, or they realize that that's not the path for them. And what they thought engineering was is not really something they like. Um, we actually tend to get a 50-50 mix of what the outcome is on that, but the course achieves its objective. Financial literacy, uh, this one was also requested by a Prietz leader in another state. Uh, and this is the zero to one on, on running finances. Um, I don't know about you all, I went to public school growing up and I didn't learn a single thing about my credit score until I was probably 25. Um, so this isn't a need that's specific to vocational rehab. This course also isn't blind or low vision specific. Um, there's not necessarily a, a ton of assistive tech referencing in it as much as there is, here's all the, the requisite knowledge to the savings programs that are uh, available to you when you're on SSDI or benefits. Uh, into credit score, building strategies, finance strategies, and so forth. Uh, the one specific uh, assistive tech part, I guess you could say to this course, is we talk about the most accessible ways for someone to monitor their credit, such as Credit Karma and other sites, uh, and which ones are the best to use with a screen reader and magnification. Uh, internet safety, much in the same vein. This is a, a very early course, great for pre great for teens, also great for people that are new to technology. Um, the primary focus is how to, you know, be responsible online, right? How do I make sure that my, my passwords are secure, that I'm not sharing things in places that I shouldn't, understanding workplace implications of how I utilize or leverage social media and so forth. Um, essential communications for the modern workforce. This one is really awesome. And so I'll kind of caveat here. I forgot to mention this at the beginning, over 60% of the inclusive team is blind and low vision employees. Um, that being said, all of our content is written by people who have actually walked the walk. So we have, for example, a college readiness course that's coming out soon. And that course was written by a man who's been blind his whole life, got his undergrad at UC Berkeley, his JD at Syracuse, and had to advocate and fight through the whole process the entire way. Um, that being said, it obviously highlights how you go through self-advocacy and how you do some college. But with this essential communications for the modern workforce is actually written by our very own Nancy Shugart. Uh, she was a blind teacher in the state of Texas for over 28 years. She went on to create uh, a book and then she gave multiple TED Talks, right? And so when it comes to verbal and nonverbal communications and how to do that in the workplace, she is truly an expert who's walked the walk and that's the kind of content your clients get to learn from. Um, the Accessibility Analyst 101 is our first career-centered track that is released. Soon we'll have a customer service track as well. Uh, with that, the aim is, and what we're doing, is creating a continuum of courses where people can truly exit the inclusive program. There will be two or three additional courses to this 
that will bundle together. But they'll be able to exit the Clusive program completely ready to start an entrepreneurial journey of being an accessibility analyst or applying for jobs at leading companies that have programs looking for them. We're also doing our best to create pipelines for employment in those programs. Whew, I feel like I need uh, to take a deeper breath there. Um, one of the biggest benefits about being a inclusive student, excuse me, is uh, our lifetime of learning application. What that means is that, uh, well, I'll, I'll, you're all familiar with JAWS scripting to some degree, right? What we want to do is, is make that well, as avoidable as possible, because I think we all know a horror story of someone who gets their dream job out of vocational rehab or out of training, and uh, they, they get some scripting. But then, you know, let's say 90 days elapse and the software updates, they no longer are covered by vocational rehab or state benefits, uh, but their scripting breaks. They can no longer perform their job. Or even worse, the, the company completely just switches software, right? Um, so how, how do we avoid that? Well, our first primary way of doing so is with the lifetime of learning application. Uh, so let's say your client goes through Clusive now, they end up getting their dream job, and they're, they're stoked, they're happy. But in four or five months after successful employment, all of a sudden that company says, well, we're not going to use Google anymore. You know, we're starting to deal with the government or whatever. We have to use Microsoft. So we have to use Teams. And that client is like, oh man, you know, I, I didn't really retain all that much about Teams when I was going through Inclusive. That was six months ago or even worse, a year or two ago. You know, how do I learn this, right? Thank you, Dave. Um, that being said, all they have to do now is refer to the mobile app, which you can also download yourself if you have an iPhone. It'll be on Android at some point in the future. But if you have an iPhone, this is free for now. There's some example courses on there. But your clients that go through inclusive training, that course will be available for the rest of their life uh, on this mobile app. So it's a quick reference guide and it updates as the software updates. So if they need to learn Teams for that software changeover, they can do that. Uh, if they need to learn where something in Google is now that they redesigned it, they can do that as well. Uh, with that, uh, the assessment tool, if you wanna know about that, it is free, completely free for you, you to use. Uh, please send Alana an email, visit our website or fill out a form, we'll get you some info on that. When it comes to the ages, uh, a lot of people think this is just purely for younger clients. We've had a distribution, as you can see here on the left-hand corner of literally every group that's within vocational rehab. 90% um, of our graduates give a five-star rating or five out of five uh, for would they recommend this to other people. Over 30% of our graduates have attempt, obtained and achieved their employment goals um, all on their own fruition as well. We are not a placement agency. Um, so that is 30% of our graduates have leveraged our training to learn how to apply for jobs and successfully get them. Um, and with that, I'll open it up to questions. Huh. Uh, it says, we have one from Belva here. If a person is blind but not savvy using the screen reader, can they benefit from this type of training? Yes, very much so. Um, the, the requisite to use inclusive training, we like to say, sorry for that. Uh, the requisite to use inclusive training for us is you have the ability to essentially open a browser, click a link, uh, and type in a field. And if you can do that, then you have the JAWS or assistive tech skills needed uh, to enter our training. How can we access the assessment tool? You can email Miss Alana. I will drop her email in the chat here and she will send you the link. We won't spam you, I promise you. Um, what Bruce, internet- can a, can a sighted user use this? Yes. Um, we actually have many, many of the counselors and trainers. I think in Delaware, we have trainers now that are sighted um, who are going through this. It's happened in other states, but Delaware just today, we have AT trainers that are going through this uh, so that they can all use a solidified curriculum. Uh, as far as internet speed, Robert, uh, Robert Proctor, uh, the internet speed is, is pretty de minimis. Um, it, it, our application is mainly text-based, so there's no heavy assets or videos or anything like that that's crazy. Uh, folks can continue to um, ask questions and uh, 